Hi, boys and girls. Today is April 20th, and we are back from spring break, and I cannot wait to see you at 1.30. I'm so excited to see everybody and to catch up on your week off. I want to hear all the great things that you've been doing at home. I have a couple of things that I'm planning throughout the week, and I'm hoping that we can catch up and play a really cool game on Friday. Um, so I'm gearing up for that, but I wanted to go ahead and tell you how much, I, how much I have missed you and tell you all about the work we're doing. So today um, is April 20th and we have some work that is new. So let's go ahead and get started. For our habit huddle today, um, I'm going to start the week with being proactive because we really got to be proactive to get our stuff done. And I want you to know that everything that you do is based on the choices you make. It's not your parents, your past, your relationships, your job, the economy, the weather, an argument, where you live, or your age that is to blame. You and only you are responsible for every decision and every choice that you make. Remember, you are your own weather. You carry your weather with you inside of you. So there is a video that I have attached here for you guys to watch. It'll come that one remember sometimes we have some of this um a little bit of commercials i'm going to skip that and uh, you can go ahead and play it and it's a really cool video um with some wise words about habit number one so i'm excited for you guys to watch it so make sure that you do um let me go back to our presentation so once you have done that you can move on for the rest of your day okay remember to take breaks in between don't just stick with doing um the same thing um oh, or throughout getting everything done without um actually visiting um maybe getting a snack or going outside um make sure you break it up okay so when you finish remember this that checklist and the last one um and we'll go visit that in just a second today we're going to do a grammar warm-up for ela so make sure that you click on um education galaxy your parents do have your username and password so get it from them i shared that with every parent through class dojo about two weeks ago so remind them that they can go back to their messages and look at that then you're gonna um choose one of the writing assignments i have put a, several writing assignments in there for you guys to warm up with some grammar so make sure you do those um remember the more stars you get the higher your score um, then we're going to start our lesson today. We're listening to a book and I want to Iwana is the name of the book that we're going to do today. And I'm going to make sure that this link is working. So when you click it, you're going to notice that it's going to pop right back up. Um, so go ahead and watch that video. Listen. And sometimes we have to watch it twice to really get the gist of the, of the book. So make sure you watch it and you understand it. Then you're going to write your own opinion piece. So in order to do that, we're going to first brainstorm in today's brainstorming day. So we're going to brainstorm about our favorite season and we're going to do a four square. I'm going to show you what that looks like in here and the four square. And I'll always go to Zoe's because um, she's the first one. Oh, actually Addison's popped up first today. So how cool is that? All right. So we're going to pop in here and this is what it looks like. Our, I'm brainstorming about my favorite season. Um, there is an example here that Ms. Spencer made for us. Um, you're going to put your first, um, favorite season here in the middle and then you're going to give examples or reasons why that is your favorite season. So apparently Ms. Spencer, just like mine, um, we share the same favorite season, which is fall, which is what she put there in the middle. And then she's, she gave you reasons why she likes that, right? So reason number one, and then she gave you four examples of those reasons. So I'm sorry, three examples. Make sure you do that, okay? So you're just writing it in. Once you fill it out, you're going to return it to Ms. Gonzalez, and I will grade it and get back to you on that, all right? So make sure you get that done. Once you're done with that, take a break and visit reading for reading today we have a book it's a read aloud called button up it's actually a poetry book so we're going to be only reading two different um poems from that book and i already have done that for you it's actually right here on facebook that i put it up so make sure that um you go ahead and watch that thoroughly and make sure you understand it before you come and do the google form 
Okay. So do Google form and the Google form is going to look like this. Go ahead and take a look at it really quick. Oh, there's Zoe's. Um, and it looks like this. Um, and you're going to write your name. Make, make sure you do that. Okay. And then answer the two questions, only two questions and submit. Shh. All right. Flynn is getting excited. And then you're going to pick a poetry book from Epic. I have assigned everybody a few books in poetry. So go ahead and pick one of those. Please do it guys. Um, this is my classroom right here. You guys do have your information on Epic. Make sure you visit um, Epic and read. For math, we have done reflex math, which you know it's going to go ahead and load. Should not load without a problem. No problem there. You have two videos to watch from Khan Academy. Also available through YouTube and yes, quick awesome. reads. I mean, not, not long lessons. If you need to look at it again, please do. Um, that's why they're there. Let me go back to our slide presentation. We have fractions greater than one, fractions greater than one on a number line. This is a little bit of review because we did touch on both of these uh, prior to today. Um, fractions greater than one and fractions greater than one on a number line. So this is practice that we've done in class, but some new information. Make sure that you go to this practice page, guys, and do that before you do the assignment. Because this assignment here with fractions greater than one on the number line will actually tell you how you're doing and if you have to revisit those videos. So make sure that you do that. Um, then you have a Google assignment that I have assigned to you already to your Google class that looks like this. Now this Google assignment is really neat, but you have to take your time with it because each page is different. It is a slide presentation. Everybody has a copy and it's interactive. So you'll actually be moving stuff around and then you're going to turn it in. You have to turn it in in order to get credit for it. Okay. And go through the slide presentation because there's a few pages. Okay. There's 10 pages in all. Once you have that done and you have turned it in, take a break and then come back for social studies. Today in social studies, we are doing a um, short video on Dexter's and here's the video. Make sure you take off the volume so you can listen. There's the video that you'll be watching, Causes of the Civil War. Once you're done with that, go ahead and take the quiz. Also on the same website, um, go ahead and take the quiz right here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, take the quiz right here and then hit done. Once you're done with the quiz and you're feeling pretty good about it, you can do this cool activity on WebQuest, part of Duck, Duckster. Um, let me show you really quick. Everybody does have a copy of this one and you'll have to turn it in when you're done with it. It's been assigned to you and all you need to do is fill out the information after you have found it. Remember, we want to make this big, right? We want to make it big and go to the top. And this is a link. See the link? Go ahead and click on that link to find the answers to those to those questions. So you're going to have to be going back and forth in between these. And I am sorry for that um, as we learn through it. But explore the links on the website and write down one thing that you learned. So go ahead and explore and then come back. <coughs> And tell me one thing you learned about the um, Civil War. And then click on the link that says causes for the Civil War. And I'm going to fill these out. So you're going to go to slavery. Let me show you how you do that. See this button right here that says slavery. You want to go ahead and click on that. And then tell me one thing that you learned here. States rights. States rights, let me go back and show you where that's at.
Or it says states rights and slavery. These are the causes for the war. So you're going to go ahead and hit causes for the war. And you're going to come down and visit this information and find states rights right here. Um, Abraham Lincoln is also there and secession. So let's go ahead and find it. Abraham Lincoln. Um, therefore, I, I, you're going to have to be going back between these two, but it's as easy as going into the link that I've already provided for you. So once you get there, which is this one right here. Um, and all the information is there, like states' rights, and then come to the bottom, slavery, Abraham Lincoln, secession, okay? How does that sound? Boys and girls, I do want to show you one thing here. There's this button right here. It actually lets you hear the whole page through this audio. Okay, so if you had some difficulty reading it, you don't have to ask mom or dad to read it to you. The button's right here, and you can actually listen to the whole website. Okay, so it's right up there at the bottom. I wanted to make sure that you knew it was there. So once you're done with that, you're going to finish that and complete it. Once you finish with WebQuest and complete it, um, you're going to go ahead and turn it in. Okay. I need, I need to see it turned in in order to give you credit for it. Um, then for music today, guys, just use your Chromebooks to record yourself singing or playing one of the songs you have learned this year, and then post it to the Google Classroom for music for your teacher. For enrichment, we're doing paper airplanes today. All you need is a paper and a ruler, and you're going to compare the flights and arrange the data here. So you want to do three um, tests right here, all right, and make your airplane. And then if you have done all of this, no problem whatsoever, you're good to go, then go ahead and finalize and go have a good time for the rest of the day. Love you, miss you, and I'll see you soon.